Scenes from Thursday's Facebook Town Hall. Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard and members of the Garrison staff answer Facebook questions at the Public Affairs Office. Dozens of questions were posted. Traffic, utility bills, and construction issues made up the majority. The questions and answers make for very interesting reading. Go to www.facebook.com slash ftmead. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Welcome to our first show of 2017. This week, meet the new Garrison Command Sergeant Major. Another round of deer culling. Details on next week's Martin Luther King observance and more. But first, it is 2017, and you no doubt have noticed the new Fort Meade logo commemorating the fort's 100th anniversary. We'll have special features on this show and in the Sound Off newspaper through the year, leading up to the official gala in June. Stay tuned. Meanwhile, the Garrison welcomed a new Command Sergeant Major in December. Lisa Rhodes of the Sound Off caught up with Garrison Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen for his first interview. Here's a small portion. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be something new for me. I've never served on a Garrison staff before. Um, majority of my career I've spent at the tactical unit serving in infantry, armor, and artillery units. So this was something new. I look forward towards the challenge. Other than meeting my wife during my, my time, I say the most rewarding part of my um, career is the travel and meeting of new people every couple of years, going to new places, meeting new cultures, um, and making friends along the way. The relationships that we have both inside the wire with organizations and outside the wire is, is very tight. It's some of the tightest I've seen in all the installations I've been to. So I'm very impressed with it and I look forward to continuing to serve the community. We'll have more with the Command Sergeant Major in next week's issue of the Sound Off. Meanwhile, in a continued effort to reduce Fort Meade's deer population to acceptable levels, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has scheduled an additional deer cull on Fort Meade starting January 30th. The target goal is approximately 12 to 18 deer per square mile. Fort Meade's population is currently measured at 32 per square mile. The cull will take place between January 30th and March 31st. The hours will be after dark until about 1 a.m. Like last year, the meat will be donated to the Maryland Food Bank. Last year, more than 5,000 pounds were donated. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is Thursday, January 19th at 1130 at Club Mead. The Garrison Equal Employment Opportunity Office invites the entire community to a program that features the Largo High School Choir from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and a presentation on volunteer opportunities in the Fort Meade community. We'll have coverage of the event on the next Meade Week. Meanwhile, tax season is upon us. Starting January 23rd, free income tax return preparation services are being offered at the Joint Installation Tax Center. Free tax preparation and e-filing are provided for all active duty, retired, and eligible dependents. The tax center is located in Building 4217 on Morrison Street. Schedule an appointment today by calling 301-677-9366. Finally this week, a special treat from the U.S. Army Field Band. Master Sergeant Marva Lewis and Master Sergeant Tim Young perform Jack Reardon's The Good Life. This is just a portion of the video. Check out the entire video on their YouTube channel. Until next week, I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade week. Oh, the good life. Love seems to be the idea. Yes, the good life. Let you hide all the sadness you feel. You won't take the chance So be honest With yourself Don't try to fake romance It's the good life To be free To explore the Face it alone.